colorful makeup. <laughs> so hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my neutral eyeshadow palette collection. I'm going to be swatching two shades from those palettes and I'm super excited about it. One thing I do kind of want to let you guys know is that you might not think all of these are neutral eyeshadow palettes. I put these in um, this category because they're more neutral leaning than they are colorful or even close to a rainbow palette. So that just kind of gives me that little leeway there because some of these are true neutral palettes and some of these could have ended up in more of the colorful category, but I chose neutral because they are more neutral leaning. I also wanted to let you guys know that you will be seeing this eye look in a future retro 3 looks 1 palette. Um, it will be up next week, just so you guys are aware. I'm super excited about it. I had a lot of fun kind of creating the looks for that video. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. By the way, one of my subscribers is kind of the reason that I decided to do this. She was asking for me to swatch some of my palettes and things like that. So I was like, you know what? I'll break it up into categories. We'll talk about how these fit into a neutral category for me and we will swatch some of those shades and kind of see what the color story is. Uh, also, just so you know, I do have 33 neutral eyeshadow palettes. So you'll be seeing 33 of the 70 something palettes that I have. <laughs> okay, enough said. Let's jump right into this. The first palette I'm going to be talking about is this Fenty Snap Shadow Palette. This is the Rose Palette. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm a person who finds more rosier tones to be more of a neutral than a colorful, just because they are kind of that classic thing. And when I think of rose tones or rosy tones, um, mauvey tones, I think of the Modern Renaissance, and that one has always been a neutral palette for me, so that's kind of why this guy here falls into that category. I'm going to swatch two of my favorite shades. I'm going to swatch a shimmer and a matte. The first shade here, the first shade I'm going to is Diva Fever, which is my shimmer shade. I'm going to swatch that right here. That's what that one looks like. It's one of my absolute favorite shades in this palette. The next shade I'm going to swatch is this one right here. It's Spice Trip. I love this matte. I love using it for a deepening shade. I just, I absolutely love it. There are my two favorite shades from the rose, <laughs> from the, here are my two favorite shades from the Rose palette. I am super excited to have this in my collection. I bought it on a whim as Sephora opened up by my work and I went in and I purchased this. Um, and I'm super excited that Fenty Beauty is coming out with these smaller palettes like this. I'm kind of getting obsessed with minis. <laughs> Speaking of minis, this next palette is the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. And I absolutely love this palette. I know not everyone is a huge fan of this palette or was a huge fan of the bigger one. And I do consider this one a more neutral leaning palette just because you can do very kind of colorful looks, but you can also go very, very neutral. And that's why this one is in this category. My two favorite shades, this one kind of here, it's the Blue Dahlia shade. And then I also like the matte shade, Raisin. Ooh. So far, this would be a very pretty palette. <laughs> also, comment down below if you have these palettes, if you like similar shades, or if you, you have different favorites than mine. I would love to chat about that down in the comment section. The next one is my Pat McGrath. I ecstasy, ecstasy palette sublime and that's what this one looks like and these are all shimmers so I'm just gonna swatch two of them I absolutely love the shade sinful oh look at that beautiful gold shade it's so pretty and then
And then this red gold shade, which is called Corruption. I just love that duochrome. Like a red and gold. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like that green gold to red. I hope you guys can see that on camera because it is absolutely gorgeous. I like the Pat McGrath shimmers. I don't love them. I don't find that they're anything extravagant. And I know some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I, I just, I don't. But they are beautiful and I'm glad that I got to try them in like a smaller palette. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, but that shade, that and that gold shade are my absolute favorites and I constantly use them. And then we're going to go into this guy, which I've had forever, so please forgive how it looks. It looks absolutely trashed. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. That's what that looks like. And my two favorite shades in this are this, this gold shade, Sunset. It's much more of like a yellowy gold. doesn't quite show up as well. And then... I'm going to pick two shimmers out of this one, actually. It's the shade Pearl. And they both are kind of eh, lackluster against the other two. Let's see if I can get that one to show up a little bit better. So there's that one, and let me swatch Sunset and Sunset. Ooh, it's pretty so far. So that is that palette. I keep this one around because I usually use the mirror in makeup tutorials. Up next is this mini Urban Decay on the Run palette in Bailout. This is what this one looks like. And I absolutely love this palette. Um, my boss actually picked this up for me. And I'm going to swatch two shades of this one as well. We're going to go with Pickup. That's what pickup looks like. It's kind of this duo chromey silver shade with a little bit of like purple reflect in it. And then I'm going to take this brown shade rebound. I just it's a nice dark kind of chocolatey brown color, and I absolutely love it. I use this palette constantly, constantly more than I thought I would. It was kind of a nice fit for my eyeshadow palette collection. Then we're going to go into the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. And it looks like this. And I know some people would say that this one leans more colorful, but I can get a lot of neutral looks out of it, and that's kind of why I picked this. I'm going to go into the shade Azalea, which looks like this. It's kind of like a pinky orange tone. And then for my matte, I'm going into the shade Jasper, this kind of terracotta orange color. Oh, look at that. It's like a neutral palette on my arm. You guys, I can do a neutral palette. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to like wipe all this off in a minute and start over because I'm running out of room. The next one in my neutral eyeshadow palette is the New Nude by Huda Beauty. Oh, you guys, I love this palette so much. And again, it's kind of those rosy, mauve tones, so it falls into this category. So my favorite matte is Tease, this kind of like mauve purple shade. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. And then my favorite... This, this is going to be a hard one. My favorite shimmer. Oh, gosh. Do I want to... You know what? We're going to go into Daydream. Oh, look at that pinky. Oh, so, so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I really like that palette, too. I got that for Christmas. Not last year, but the year before. And it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to go ahead and wipe these off and we're going to start over. So this is kind of the shade range that I have now. It's very pretty. Okay, so now that I have a clean arm, we can go ahead and get started again. So the next one is the Tarte Clay Play. I actually got this from Raven and I do use it. 
And this one is all mattes, so we're just going to swatch two of the mattes that I frequently use, which would be Smoke and Dunes. And they're still buttery. So this one is Smoke, and this one is Dune. And these are very, very kind of cool tone mattes, and I will be honest and say that I'm getting more into like cool tone browns. Then we have this one, which is a newer addition to my collection. It is the Nomad palette by Julia's Place. This is what it looks like. I had a hard time placing this palette because I was like, oh, I could have placed it here or here, but it definitely is a more neutral palette and I need to play with it a little bit more. But I absolutely love this shade right here, this kind of like olive -y green yellow tone as well as this darker shimmer here so I'll swatch those so there is that one and then there is the darker shimmer now I will say for people who have a harder time working with the darker shimmer is I like to use the darker shimmers in like the outer V of my eye and kind of blend them into a darker matte in my crease so that's kind of how I work with those there. It kind of gives it this nice, um, like shimmery dark effect on your lid, if that makes sense. I hope that made sense. <laughs> the next one here is the Saharan by Juvia's Place. This beautiful neutral guy right here. So my absolute favorite shade for the shimmers is Kia. So that is what Kia looks like, and it's this brown blue duochrome. It's it's beautiful. It's the reason why I got rid of a different brown blue duochrome in my collection, because I only need one. And this was it. This is the one I picked. And then the next shade I'm gonna go into is actually the black shade Chad. I love a good black matte and that one is a good black matte it blends out nicely and oh look at this i love this color story can this be a palette i wear that on my eyes right now this palette has been in my collection since my friend amanda gave it to me and i absolutely do love it it's a really really good dubious place palette i mean most dubious place palettes are really good let's be real you guys i have so many more palettes to go through this is insane <laughs> Then the next palette I have is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette. That's what this one looks like. It kind of has those modern renaissance vibes. This one is all mattes, as it was said. My favorite shades are Peach Punch, which is kind of this orangey, and Peach Sangria. These are going to be very different. Those two kind of thrown into this don't really go, but I do love those shades. They're very pretty. Kind of that rosy tones again that I just use all the time. I am learning from this video that I have so many like rosy tone shades that I really don't need anymore. <laughs> yeah. The next palette is the Elmer Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette and that is what this looks like. It is definitely a neutral palette with like a pop of blue and green. And picking shimmers out of this is going to be hard but I think I'm going to go in with the green shade of Celia. Oh, it's, look at that. Just look at that. Oh, that shade is beautiful. I love the shimmers in this palette. Like if anything, the shimmers are what sold me on this palette for sure when it came in BoxyCharm. It's so pretty. But I also like this orange shade, Tropico. I say it funny. I'm also finding I really like kind of like terracotta oranges. Oh, but that green is so pretty. So is the blue, but we're only switching two shades at a time. Otherwise, this would take forever. <laughs> the next one, and I think this will surprise people that I put this in the neutral palettes, but most of the shades lean a little bit more neutral than not. So this is the Stellar Collision palette by BH Cosmetics, and if you guys, 
And if you guys don't know, I collect a lot of the space themed palettes, but to me, this leans more on the neutral side. I could have gone in the colorful ones. I had a hard time placing this one, so I decided the neutral side. But my two favorite shades out of this palette are this really, this really big one right here, which is going to be kind of a duochrome, and then this bronzy shade. So we'll go ahead and swatch. Oh, that bronze shade is so pretty. Look at it. Look at it with that orange. Ooh, don't that one. Mm. That's going to need to be a collar combination on my eyes. And then this one is like a duochrome. So it has that pinky kind of reflect. So it could have gone in like the colorful part, but you know, I chose this. Look at that bronze. Oh, that bronze. Mm, you guys, gorgeous. <laughs> and then we have the Solar Flare palette by BH Cosmetics, and it is definitely heavily leaning on the neutral side. We're going to go into, oh, this one's going to be hard. I think I'm going to go into Galactic. And this one has names. That one didn't have names, so whatever. <laughs> and then Ozone. Oh, I could pick so many more shades from all of these palettes, you guys. So there is Galactic. Oh, that's so pretty. And there is Ozone. Oh, oh so pretty. Wow, this one was a little bit brighter. I'm going to go ahead and clean my arm off again. We still have several palettes to get through. This is probably going to be a longer video, but if you want to see the palettes, see me swatch some things, you know, it's going to have to be a longer video. The next palette that I'm going to talk about is the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. I got this from a friend for my birthday years ago when I was purchasing Kat Von D. So, yeah. And this is what it looks like. I, for one, really think that this leans more neutral. It has more neutral shades than colorful shades. That's why I placed it in this category. I'm going to go into Immaculate. And Vestment. So this is Immaculate. Oh, it's such a pretty green. And this one is Vestment. Kind of a duochromy again. Oh, it's so pretty. It has like a brown blue shift or like maybe a more purpley brown. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of that one. <laughs> but those two are two of my favorite shades in this palette. I, I, I have more. I haven't used this palette in a while. I just forced it in my collection because my friend bought it for me and I'm sentimental that way. So yeah. Then we have the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette, the Holy Grail palette. That is what this looks like. And I'm going to be honest, my favorite shades fall into this corner right here. So we're going to go into the matte Wine and Dine and then the Shimmer on Fleek. So this is the Shimmer on Fleek. And this is the matte shade Wine and Dine. Ooh, this would be a pretty palette altogether. That's fun. <laughs> you guys are going to have to let me know if you're going to be like, well, Danielle, I would have put this palette in this side and this one over here, and I wouldn't have done it the way you did it. So, yeah. Or if you totally agree with me, <laughs> it's fine if you don't agree with me. The next one is the Very Cute. And, like, the packaging made me hope it was a lot brighter than it was, but, you know. This is what this one looks like. To me, this is kind of like a grungy purple. So my two favorite shades are going to be Pinkle Berry and Purple Berry. So this is what Pinkle Berry looks like. And this is what Purple Berry looks like. It's kind of that mauve tone again. Oh, look at that. You can get some colorful shadows out of more neutral leaning palettes. I mean, look, this would be a fun kind of color story. So far only two mattes, but that's okay. Then we have a Flutter um, color pop palette here. And this is what this one looks like. Oh, okay. I am going to go into Chauffeur. And then, ooh, because I'm automatically drawn to a bright orange. Oh, that ooh shade. Look at that. 
And then this one, what was this one called again? This one's called Chauffeur. So pretty. I just think it's funny. I'm picking like the brightest shades. Of course I would. Let's be real. I like colorful makeup. <laughs> so yeah, I picked the brightest. I've only played with this palette a couple of times in all honesty. I need to play with it more. I got it for Christmas and it's just been kind of sitting on the back burner because I'm trying to play with a whole lot of things. And then we have the Violet Voss Essentials palette. And that is what this one looks like. So my favorite shades in here are going to be the Dusty Rose Matte and then the Emerald Green. So this is the Dusty Rose Matte. And we have that Emerald Green. Oh, it's so pretty. Can I just make this into a power? I know some of the colors don't really go, but I would make it work, okay? Just make it work. That's that, that's what I would do. I would just be like, you know, I like this color from this and this one from this. Can we do something similar? I know it's kind of crazy, but that's what I like. <laughs> then we have this guy, the Emily Edit the Wants palette with Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution. Revolution? I don't know. But that's what this one looks like. And this one is definitely more. <laughs> This one is definitely more neutral leaning, and I love it still. So, my favorite shades are Side Hustle and Cheer. So, Side Hustle, and then they're kind of grungy green, and Cheer. This is also kind of fun because you guys can kind of see which formulas hold up over time and which ones are kind of a struggle bus. And which ones are newer? And just kind of the different formulas of eyeshadow that put together. Yes, I dropped that. Let's check on that. Oh, it's not broken. Ah! <laughs> the next palette here is the Butter London Natural Goddess palette. And this is what this one looks like. So my favorite, my absolute favorite shades are Star, which is this cream shade, and... Femme Fatale, which is this teal shade. If you guys have been with me for a while, I absolutely love a good teal shade. So there's that green. I also love greens. And there's that teal. Ooh, this would be a pretty palette. Would you guys buy this? Like if this was a palette, would you? <laughs> this is just kind of fun going, hmm, what shade do I like? Which one don't I like? Then we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. That's what this baby looks like right here. <laughs> so my favorite shades are Hot Toddy. And then for a, ooh, Hot Toddy is pretty. And then for a matte, mm, this one's hard. I think I'm going to go with Figgy Pudding. I was looking between Gumdrop and Figgy Pudding. <laughs> I chose Figgy Pudding. So this is Hot Toddy. Look at that duo chrome. And then we have Figgy Pudding. Oh, such a pretty, mm, that color story is pretty. Okay, so we have a few more palettes left. I'm going to go through and clean my arm off again, but I just wanted you guys to look at this. Look at it and memorize it. Look at it and memorize it, because it's so pretty. Oh, and those came out of more neutral leaning palettes. Or what I consider more neutral leaning. <laughs> you can agree with me, you can disagree with me, it's totally fine. I just really love that last color story, that was so fun. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this one was really hard for me to place. Um, I got this in BoxyCharm. It's the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. And to be honest, I think I've used this twice and in conjunction with another palette. So, just on the first glance, I really like the shade Fireball. Okay, I have this like orangey, bronzy, duochrome thing going on today. And I think I'm going to swatch Storm Dust because it's kind of one of those terracotta oranges that I like. So, this is Fireball. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, I have a, a theme with duochromes I like. And then this one is Storm Dust. 
This is also kind of showing me, hey, Daniela, you have 9,000 of these shades in your collection. Stop buying eyeshadow palettes with them in it. You have enough of them. You don't need any more. <laughs> I need to definitely play with this palette a lot more. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this. Um, my mom gave it to me from a BoxyCharm. Then we have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, Armed and Gorgeous. This is such a fall palette to me. So my favorite shades are Top Secret and Coin. Who knew I was going to pick a green and a gold again? I did. So Top Secret and Coin. Ooh. I wonder if subconsciously I'm like, yeah, these shades would go together in a palette, so I'm going to swatch them. I don't know. The next one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Original Norvina Palette. That is what this beauty looks like. You know, the purple palette that is very neutral. So my favorite shades are Rose Gold and then Passion. Oh, those two would be pretty too. So Rose Gold and Passion. Okay, I just need to do a look with just those two shades on my eyes. That might be happening soon, because that is stunning. Love it. <laughs> All I'm doing is creating two look combinations here. You're gonna see me with a lot of just two shadow looks and it's all gonna be for me swatching these. Then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. No, you cannot get this one anymore. I am sorry. Um, we're going to go with Osiris and Saturn. Duh. Osiris, Saturn. Um, these two I would not put on my eyes together. I'm just going to clarify that. Would not put Osiris and Saturn on my eyes together. But, oh, so pretty. Ooh, Osiris. I have a problem, okay? I have a problem. Then I have the Nightingale palette um, by Pretty Vulgar. I really like this cool tone palette. So my favorite shades are Clutch. I just wish the pans were different. So Clutch. And then I like the, oh gosh, what matte? I think I'm going to go with Flip Out. So I have Clutch and Flip Out. So Clutch, Flip Out. This could work together as a palette also so far. I think it could. You guys will have to let me know. You'll have to be like, so your arm swatches on swatch, da 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 da, whatever session of, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm saying. Your first, second, or third arm swatches. I like that as a palette. I don't know. This is the Bad Habit Retro Love palette. You can't get this one either. And it's a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh gosh, why can't I remember the name of this palette? Well, it's the subculture. It's that dupe. So my favorite shades are Icon and Free Love. So Icon, Free Love. Icon and Free Love. Oh, that would be a pretty two eyeshadow look. <laughs> Telling you, it's gonna become a series on my channel. Danielle's just doing two, using two eyeshadows and creating all these looks, and they're all like the same shape. That's how it'd be. Then we're gonna go into the Crown Glam Metals palette. I absolutely love this. I know other people don't, but that is what it looks like. It's just neutral, shimmery tones. So we're gonna go with Rock On and Pop Rock. So Rock On and Pop Rock. I also have this thing for grungy golds I'm noticing. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I need to use this palette more. So pretty. <laughs> you guys are going to get tired of me saying so pretty, but they're so pretty. Then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina Pop. Look at this. I just love that packaging. And this is what this one looks like. And my favorite shades are Zam and Pinker. So here is Zam and Pinker. 
I like that plummy pink color. Oh, there's only three more palettes left. Three more palettes left. I'm sorry, I can't dance. <laughs> so the next palette is also an Anastasia Beverly Hills and some modern Renaissance palette. One of the more rosy neutrals. So my favorite shades in this palette, I'm going to pick two mattes actually. Venetian Red and Love Letter. So Venetian Red and Love Letter. There's Venetian Red. And there's Love Letter. It's in, wow, this swatch well. It's interesting when I'm going through this and seeing what I'm seeing with things. Swatching or not swatching well. <laughs> and then we have this palette. This is another Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, palette. It is the Dark Magic palette. That's what it looks like. This is a green, a green, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't say what I'm trying to say. A neutral green leaning palette is what I'm trying to say. And so I'm going to do Power Cut and inside job. So power cut, let's just put it right here, power cut, which is this kind of taupey silver cup shade and inside job. Some of these shades are not swatching very well. It's fine. I have the Grinch palette. Which I was having a hard time placing this one too because it could have gone in like the more colorful. But I think it leans more neutral in my opinion. So we're going to go with Who Cares. And I've only played with this palette one time. So this is Who Cares. And then Sly One. So Who Cares and Sly One. So there you have it. There are all of my neutral leaning eyeshadow palettes. You guys will have to let me know if you agree with these being neutral eyeshadow palettes or if you disagree with them. And it's totally fine if you do not agree with me. This was just kind of my take looking through my collection, me going, hmm, these are more neutral leaning. These are not, so yeah. Well, I will have two other series videos like this. I will have a colorful eyeshadow palette collection and swatches video coming up as well as a rainbow palette collection swatch video coming up so thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next one bye